Hello human beings, I am Chris Lake Chan and welcome back to VR in a wheelchair. Today we are reviewing a game called Little Cities. I was so lucky that Endream has supported me with both the main game and the Snowy Island DLC. So thank you Endream. Little Cities is a SimCity style game, or City Skylines, if you will, as they are both in the same build a city and make it thrive game universe. When you start the game, you are met with a little info screen that tells you that you can play it with your hands instead of the controllers, and also some minor settings, like snap turning and how many degrees you want to snap turn with. After that screen, you get to a table where there is some islands on. You then get told that you can adjust the height of the table. Props to you devs for making that. And when you tap an island, it zooms you into the island you tapped on. It now starts a tutorial that will tell you exactly what you need to know to play the game fully. It tells you how you move around, how you turn, how you zoom in and out, and also some extra ways to do previous things. I won't use those, to be honest. I would rather just use the simple things. After the game has told you all that, it then tells you to build your first road. And then after that, the first buildings to get your new island started. And getting people to come to the island, just like in any city building game. After a little while, the game tells you that you can use hand tracking. And this is where the game really shines, if you ask me. It tells you that your room needs to be well lit and everything. Obviously, so the cameras on the headset can see your hand probably. The devs made it super easy to switch between the two control modes, as in hands and controllers. All you have to do is press a button on the controllers to use the controllers, or put them down and wait for the cameras to pick up your hands. It might help by doing the neutral hands, as the game shows you as soon as you switch the first time. When you switch to hand controls, the game begins a new tutorial that tells you how you use your hands to navigate in the game. You make a fist with your dominant hand, chosen in the game menu, to move around. You make a fist with both hands to zoom in and out by moving them closer or away from each other. And you rotate by making a fist with both hands and make a rotate movement. It was sometimes difficult for the game to understand if I wanted to zoom or rotate, but it didn't get to a point where it was an annoyance for me. After you're told how to move around, you're being told how you select a prop to build and how to place it by just tapping your index finger and thumb together when pointing on the ground. All the movements with the hands is super intuitive and I picked it up extremely fast. Actually, I had more problems remembering the movements on the controller than with the hands. I especially like the way you accept notifications on the watch as the button is literally on your wrist. One problem is that you can end up covering your watch arm, but hand tracking will get better and better so it will be gone with time if the devs update the hand tracking ability alongside the Quest 2 headset. The game is right down my alley, as I really love city managing games, as I can take my time with them and just relax and enjoy the scenery or the life of the city that I'm building. I would have loved to see more interactions with the buildings or environment and I have told the devs about it, though I'm not sure it will become a thing as I think for it to work then it would be a full rebuild of the game, but time will tell. Another thing I would love to see is when you are putting down a service building like a water tower or a police station. Then you have an aura of effect, but there is no way to see that aura of effect after the building is placed. I would love if I could just tap on the service building and then see the aura of effect for X amount of seconds. The Winter DLC adds two new islands and it looks great and it's like the main game but with snow. And some added specific festive buildings. It adds to the cuteness of the game and I actually like it as it's a change of scenery. 
the thing here is that I would have loved the ability to pick up a snowball and throw it on a building to visually cover them in more snow. Maybe the added snow disappears after X amount of seconds. Or brushing the snow off trees or buildings. I told the devs about that too. There's also random disasters in the game, both in the main game and in the DLC. I didn't get to see those. But in the Snowy Island DLC you can get hit by an avalanche and you also have to think about your water supply freezing over and a bunch more hidden mechanics that will keep the game interesting over time. The guy that I talked to from Endream has given all my feedback to the devs so maybe we will see some of the things that I mentioned. The game is fully playable as a wheelchair user and if you're into games like SimCity or City Skylines, or any other games that are like those, then I highly recommend giving this a try. I had so much fun, and I actually had to stop myself, so the recording wouldn't get too long compared to this voiceover. The game is only on the Quest 2 store for $19.99, and the Snowy Island DLC costs $6.99, and more content will come in 2023, along with more platforms. If you feel like I'm missing something, or could have done something differently, then leave a comment and remember to like and subscribe if you want to see more. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to check out this video here, Mara Reviewing Townsman VR.